Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodoshan here. We are doing a rate of dissolving lab. Here's everything we need. Let's go ahead and get started. We are first gonna place one sugar cube in some room temperature water, and we're gonna see how long this takes to break apart and dissolve. You can see that this is gonna be a slow moving process for room temperature, and we're not doing anything to it. It's just gonna sit there and do its thing. Over time, this is slowly gonna start to break down, and you can see this is what it looks like several minutes later. It has no longer um, kept its cube shape, but it's not really dissolving. This is gonna take a substantial amount of time to fully dissolve in that water not moving. Okay, so now we're gonna take a sugar cube, place it in room temperature water, and we are gonna agitate it. So now we are stirring it and mixing it up, and you can see that this one is gonna dissolve considerably faster. It's gonna stay, start breaking down from that cube shape and you can see the individual sugar crystals floating around in the water and it will um, go ahead and fully dissolve in the water in just a few minutes time. So this is gonna be considerably faster and just an overall better way to dissolve your solute in a solvent when making a solution. Okay, so now we're gonna take a sugar cube, put it in a mortal and pestle, and we're gonna pound this out until it is a fine um, granulated powder. Uh, the smaller the better because we are increasing surface area here instead of having one sugar cube with only a few sides in order to touch the solvent to dissolve now we're going to have uh, lots of fine little crystals floating around increased surface area to dissolve at a faster rate so here we go we're going to dump in our fine powder into some room temperature water and we're not going to agitate it we're just going to leave it there to sit and you can see immediately, even um, some of the sugar crystals that have fallen through have already started to dissolve, but there's still a substantial amount that is just sitting at the bottom of the beaker. So although some of this has dissolved, there's still a lot left and it will take a little bit longer for all of it to dissolve on its own without any agitation. Okay, so here's our final trial. I'm gonna go ahead and put a sugar cube in the left beaker, which has room temperature water, and the right beaker, which I've heated up some water on a hot plate. And this was um, water almost up to boiling. And you can see that the sugar cube on the right-hand side in the hot water is already starting to break down, fall apart, and fall to the very bottom of the beaker. And you can see the dissolving happening as this is going on. The beaker on the left with room temperature water, it's a very slow moving process. So we can already see that we have increased the rate of dissolving with the increase of temperature of our solvent. Now this is gonna um, still sit there at the bottom of the beaker without any agitation, but over time this definitely will dissolve. It will just take several more minutes. Here's just an up close shot. You can see that the one in the room temperature water is barely starting to break down while the one in the hot water is already starting to dissolve and has been broken down for a little bit of time now. I hope this was so helpful to you guys. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.